Welcome back to this Thursday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. Now, because many traditional sports like basketball and soccer were cancelled globally during the pandemic, uh, many people have now switched their viewing over to eSports. And Grant Hines is here to chat about it, accompanied by a professional gamer, Quaid Clarsons. Quaid, good to have you here on the show, man. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let you focus for just a little <laughs> bit while you navigate the course in Kailami in this absolutely incredible gaming rig. But G-Man, I mean, this has been quite a big shift because even traditional sports viewers have now gone over to esports. It's really big. It was one of the things that I actually was really unexpected by, but pleasantly yeah. with the whole lockdown thing. Everybody's been staying at home, but people are still hungry to watch sport. Yeah. You know, we're yeah, all absolutely. passionate about the sports that we love. Most of the time, actually, one of the big times has been is racing because a lot of the games are so like simulator driven, they're so realistic, yeah. and you can move cameras around. They've been doing big tournaments and big races uh, with, uh, with directors and commentators and like cameras that flow through the course. Yeah, as much um, of the full setup as you'd expect to get. Exactly, and people are watching it and loving it. So, ah, NASCAR man. had their tournament called iRacing, and 1.3 million people tuned in to a virtual race. All the, all the racers are racing on rigs like this one that we have in front of us. Yeah. And they are doing it from their houses. So they've got cameras that they've set up at home and the directors can cut between all the different drivers. Wow. But they are literally sitting at home racing in the most realistic virtual experience possible. Formula One also did it with the Formula One production. Virtual Grand Prix. Yes. And, the, and many, many people tuned in to watch that happen, uh, which is really cool. It just shows like a huge shift towards people accepting gaming as a comp competitive gaming yeah. As, a, yeah. as a traditional sport. And seeing like the crossover, it's really compelling. I had a lot of friends that don't watch esports but ended up watching like the Formula One yeah, because yeah. they were like, this is really realistic. This is wow. really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. And you really get, I mean, as much as a, a traditional driver sitting in a Formula One car is challenged by the course and the electronics and the technology involved, this kind of gets almost there, you know, other than being in a real car. The steering wheel, it has all of the buttons and all of the different settings that you... That big box on the front is a huge motor that counter steers your steering wheel for you. So it literally, it like, I think that costs like about 30K or something. It's a very high end piece of technology and yeah. hardware that helps you like uh, feel what a real car feels like. Yeah. And you were telling me that even here in South Africa, we had our own. Yes, exactly. Like, uh, Quaid, Quaid actually raced in it. So I'm really excited to have Quaid <laughs> in the building yeah. with us because Quaid raced in, he races for ATK, which yeah. is one of our professional esports teams. And uh, they uh, raced on Kyle Army. He's currently racing, uh, Right now, because Kyle Army was hosting the Kyle Army Nine Hour. Yeah. So, uh, for those of you, it's kind of like the the, tw oh, the Le Mans, Mans Twenty Four, yeah. uh, and it's happening like in game like this. So, oh, um, you can, you know, local players were also able to do this, and people watched it on yeah. uh, on YouTube and on Twitch. So they took part in this virtual experience. Well, let me talk to Craig for a little bit and see if he can focus while turning the most wicked corners. <laughs> <laughs> the life of a professional gamer, Quaid, what's that like? Uh, it's uh, very interesting, I have to say. I've never done it before. It's my first time ever being under a professional sponsorship and all that, so it's been really just amazing. It's exciting. So many experiences that I got to do because of this. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's fantastic. When people think of professional sportsmen and even professional uh, race car drivers, right, there's this entire re regimen that they need to go through where they'd be training and nutrition and putting in hours and hours on the track practicing. Uh, how do you relate to that? Because, I mean, you, you've got to be spending a lot of time in this console, uh, or in this kind of setup at home, preparing yourself for these big tournaments so that you can perform at your best level there. Yeah, uh, well, I do work during the day, so I only get a short amount of time after work to practice. Yeah. But I do practice every night, learning the tracks, setting up the car, because there's a whole bunch of setups you got to get right for your car to handle and be more comfortable with it around the track. Yeah. Because because it's a virtual simulator, yeah. like tuning your car, like you do in real life, you have to tune your car physically, like in the pits or whatever. You can do that in the game. Tune your yes. suspension, yeah. cho choose your tires, uh, like, you know, all that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Now, of course, like Quaid, for instance, let's say has a full-time job and then also has a, if you want to call it a side hustle, as a professional gamer. But, like, out there in the world, how serious does it get? Because, I mean, I know that some, oh. some teams, <laughs> for instance, let's say, let's say that have FIFA players, have literally signed contracts with these players to go, you are signed to this particular team and your job 
is to play at the highest level of FIFA and win international tournaments for us as a team. 100%. That's a real job and that's a real uh, like situation right now. There are people, especially internationally, there are huge tournaments with massive prize pools. And when there are big prize pools like that overseas, the competition gets a lot more like challenging. Intense, yeah. So uh, the, the teams that are recruiting, so there are uh, big teams like Cloud9. In fact, we've got some South African players that ATK recruited for Cloud9 that are playing in a Counter-Strike team who are getting paid full-time to compete in those tournaments. Wow, Just like man. you would in any traditional sport. Exactly. Because yeah. competitive sports and, L and e Sports are essentially spiritually the same, right? It just happens on a virtual platform where it, sometimes it happens on a field, and there's different kinds of disciplines that you need to learn and use. So it's a very exciting future, yeah. and I think the lockdown has really kickstarted it in the imagination of a lot of people at home that weren't considering sports as an option on a virtual platform. Yeah, and so, so today's challenge for us as the presenters, Quaid is going to be setting up his best time, his best lap time yeah. on Kyle Army Racetrack. And uh, throughout the day, throughout the morning, we will be trying to beat that time. So we'll be sanitizing the station after, every, after each competitor has taken a turn. And by the end, we'll see whether we can actually beat his time. What do you think are the chances of that? Yo, I'm going to beat you, Quaid. <laughs> I'm going to get recruited. <laughs> well, you have to try very hard. I've been you, to Kyle Army for Comic-Con, but yeah. I haven't raced on that track. <laughs> <laughs> very, very different experience. All right, Quaid's getting along very, very nicely right now. As, as you can see, if you can see on the screen, there's like a green car in front of him. That's his best lap. So we're going to be trying to beat that at some point throughout the day uh, or throughout the morning. I'm not sure whether we can actually do it. But anyway, uh, let us know what some of your favorite games are that you are enjoying uh, seeing in the eSports arena. I mean, it takes immersive gameplay to a whole new level. And we're going to be continuing uh, playing and fine-tuning our driving skills all throughout the morning's show.